Welcome back to Cox Connections, a program that provides up-to-date information on events that affect you, our customers. Strong leadership is necessary in all facets of life. Even if you're not officially serving in a leadership position, everyone can benefit from developing leadership qualities and affect change no matter what your position. Joining me today is Dick Abel, a retired Air Force general and jet pilot, who is the founder and president of Leadership is All About People, a half-day seminar program that focuses on the person of the leader. Thanks for being with me today, General. Uh, it's a real honor to be with you. And you know, I feel like I should call you General. So uh, You can call me Coach. You can I can call, call me you General. Coach. Call me Dick. Okay. Just call well, me. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's start with what is the mission of your organization? Leadership is all about people. Because that's, that's an unusual phrase, name. Talk about the mission. It really came from my career in the Air Force, uh, working with athletes, the coaching, with the Olympic Committee, with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And then I uh, spent 14 years working with the Military Ministry of Campus Crusade. So I was working with all services. But watching and seeing, and I've been very fortunate to work with some senior leaders. And it's not name dropping on senior leaders, but it's who they hang out with mm -hmm. and observing them and seeing the impact that they have. Uh, when I was a lieutenant, I was aide to a general who was the first commandant at the Air Force Academy. I learned tons from him on being uh, on the importance of leadership and how he led, you know, how he led and, and seeing that. And then that all sort of went into the, the pot and it came out the funnel hole. Well, and you've you've done some great work with the leadership here at Cox. And one of the things you do in those sessions is you challenge, you know, men and women uh, to be leaders of strong character. And and you, you say in those seminars that leadership uh, really is about the person of the leader. It's about the person well, of the talk leader. Talk a little bit about that. It, it really is. And, you know, I heard you speak one time. I think we first met at a church when you were speaking on leadership. And, and you touched on some of these things in your remarks. But leadership, and, and the reason I have passion in this, is because we need to provide inspired influence. And it starts in the home. I, you're, when I did it with Cox, I was always uh, interested because it's an interactive seminar that the people, I say that if you want to be a person of character, remember that it starts before you put on your suit, your flight suit, your jock socks and t-shirt or whatever. It starts at home with your wife and your children. And then it goes into your marketplace, whatever your marketplace is. And for leaders at any area, emerging leaders is your, the title of your program for God. Wonderful name, emerging leaders. How to get them to understand that great leaders, the ones I've observed anyway, have always been servant leaders. It's never been about them. It's always been about the person they serve. In your book, uh, you talk about the DNA of leadership and you talk about these 18 characteristics that, that these great leaders have. Talk a little bit about uh, some of those characteristics and, and why are they so important? L let me, can I go back to the yeah. building blocks first and then I will yeah. get into that? Servant leadership is number one. Now, building blocks, okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna build my character, who I really am, my heart. Mm -hmm. Not my picture, not my resume, but my heart. Servant leadership, compassionate leader. Who cares? You know that old saying, people don't want to know how much you know until they know how much you care. Third one is conviction. Big one today. Mm -hmm. Be a, Know who you are, like who you are, and be who you are. And the whole issue of this is who I am, and I'm going to respect the fact that you may not believe like I do. And then it's those three, and then consistency, if you're a person of conviction, you have that consistency. And I'm one that, you know, toleration is I have to be like somebody else. I say, no, I'm going, I know who I am and I'm going to respect the fact that somebody else doesn't believe like me. And then it goes into the 18 characteristics. Right. Integrity has always been first. Trust, confidence, credibility comes out of integrity. And we have to teach that from the time they're and, youngsters. And you believe you can teach those things. I believe that you can sensitize people to it, but they have to accept it. Yes. The application is extremely important. Now you have another book. Yes, this one, the first one, The DNA of Leadership, 
was written for Gary McCollum. What do you mean that? Well, Gary McCollum is the only one with his DNA in the universe. So it gives the basic fundamentals of the foundation and the attributes. Well, I did some seminars. I did one over on the peninsula, about 30 companies. Uh, it was wonderful. And I asked for feedback a couple weeks later. And the guy that put it together just said, well, everybody liked the seminar. They liked the DNA book. And, uh, but they said there's so many distractions in life today, we can't even think about our character. It's talking about character on autopilot. On autopilot. Talk about that. OK. You can be on autopilot, but if you're on the wrong course and you're on autopilot. You have a problem. You have a problem. <laughs> when, when this came up, I was with a friend. Actually, this came from a business guy in Seattle. The vector did. He said, give me one word. Funny story, but too long to tell. But we came up with vector corrector. He said, do vector corrector once a week on an aspect of leadership, character, values, and integrity. And so I started, and I said, this is going to be four weeks, and it'll die. Well, we just finished the fourth year. And the first year, the publisher said, Let's do a vector corrector book. That's we, where they came from. We only have about a minute left, and this just means we're going to have to get you back on a future show. But before we finish, uh, you've also talked about the, the importance, and you mentioned it earlier, of inspired influence to be successful as a leader. Talk about that as before we finish up. I think that one probably comes from you know my days in coaching, my days in athletics, my days with the Olympic Committee. And a guy by the name of Chuck Swindoll, good old preacher boy, and uh, he talked about in, uh, leadership is inspired influence. How do you inspire people to do things that they may not have even thought of, that they may not have even thought that they could do, and then do them with excellence? My job as a leader is to help you and your people, as I did when I trained here, to be all-stars in the job that they have. Are they a technician? Are they an accountant? Are they a manager? Yes. But to do it that way. Do it that way. We'll leave it there. General, thank you so much for being a part of this show and all you do to enhance the quality of leadership, not only in this organization, but many organizations. Yeah. And thank you for joining me on this episode of Cox Connections. As always, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you chose us, we pledge to be a friend you can trust. We promise to provide you with innovative products backed up by a talented local team of professionals that will help you stretch your dollar. And we promise to continue to make a difference in the Hampton Roads community. From all of your friends and neighbors here at Cox, we thank you again for joining us on this edition of Cox Connected.